Hello Cancers, welcome to your May reading. If this is your first time stopping by, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps me a lot to continue making these videos for you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support and let's get started with the first week. So with the Knight of Coins in reverse, I do uh, see that things will move a little bit slow during this month, especially when it comes to your finances, your business, any types of work relationship that you might have with someone. I'm feeling that strongly for those of you Cancers who might have your Ascendant or your Moon sign in either Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Some um, Just the economy in general, I'm feeling everything is much more slower than it used to be. For some, it can be due to the pandemic and you're feeling like, okay, I'm, I keep waiting for this promotion. I keep waiting for this race. I keep waiting for to co co collaborate with this person and things are just moving so slow and that you keep getting the same answers to wait and it's not the right time and it's going to take some more time. So you're feeling a bit frustrated and you're feeling like you're losing that, that motivation to continue to give as much as you as you used to give before okay to be you you're starting to get yourself you're starting to get a bit lazy because you're not getting anything in return for your, all your effort and all your hard work for those of you who are in a relationship with an earth sign, I'm feeling that one of the reasons why you guys loved this person in the beginning or were so attracted on one of their best qualities was the fact that they were so loyal and dedicated and you both felt like you wanted to build something for the long run. You wanted a strong, stable relationship. But the more the time goes by, the more this person is not showing that same interest to really build a long term relationship with you to take the relationship to the next stage. They're always giving you excuses why they're not ready yet. They're always trying to um, kind of procrastinating or not really giving you that full commitment and that security that you are craving cancers. So yeah, things are moving, are moving quite slow in the first week. But in the second week, with the Eight of Swords, I see that you guys, for a long time, you felt like you were kind of stuck in this situation with this relationship or or in, in terms of your business or your career. You, you felt like you were stuck, like... I don't have a way to go. This is this is what I this is what I have to deal with and now I just have to continue you know repeating or continue waiting till till I get out of this situation somehow. And I'm feeling that for a lot of you guys you have uh, you have felt very lonely. You felt like you kept all of this within your heart. All this sadness, all this stress, all this anxiety, all this frustrated, all this frustration, you kept it to yourself. Okay, but now the time has come when you're finally saying no, I need to talk to someone. And maybe the influence of another person, a friend, a person that is close to you that you really trust, they can give you really good advice, maybe having this person in your life, having this person give you that, that uh, encouragement, just give you that push that tells you, no, you're not alone, you can get out of this, you can improve the situation. Yeah, it looks like, oh, how, how do I get out of this? Like, this is so bad, I can't, I, I don't see a way out of it. Maybe talking to this other person, getting that push, getting that motivation, telling you that you can do it, that's what you need to get out of it, okay? To get your strength back, to get your courage back, and to release yourself from, from this mental prison of, oh, I can't do it, oh, I'm stuck, oh, this is not going the way I want it to go. Okay, that's all you needed. You need that just that one push. Uh, and you want to take control. You want to take control of your life. You want to take control of, of whatever is going on around you. You're tired of waiting. You're tired of waiting for from the king of coins. Or you're tired of waiting from other people around you. You just want things to happen already. You just want your situation to improve. And you want to you you want things to move forward. That's what I'm feeling for a lot of you cancers. And in the third week with the four of coins, I'm seeing that you guys 
have the courage now, okay? You're you're courageous, you're feeling strongly about yourself, you have your confidence back, and you're ready to confront your higher-ups, you're ready to confront your bosses, your managers, the people that you're trying to work with, but they're very stubborn. They're very set in the way they want to do business, in the way they want to manage things, and there's no budging, there's no changing their minds. For some of you, I'm feeling that uh, the, the goals that they have set for you are so high and you're feeling like they're doing this on purpose to discourage you for accomplish for accomplishing what you want to accomplish from to make it so hard that you can't actually make that bonus or you can't actually make that race just as an excuse okay so setting the bar so high that it's so difficult for you to uh, to get through them, especially I'm feeling for you cancers who are trying to apply for a loan or you're trying to apply for some type of paperwork and you're waiting and you might be dealing with the government or might be dealing with financial different financial institution. I'm feeling that there's so many different things that you got to go through paperwork. Um, it might be taking such a long time that you're starting to get frustrated. You're starting to to ask yourself, is it is this even worth worth it for me to keep waiting? Is this ever going to happen? Am I ever going to get the result that I need? Because it's so difficult to get through to these people. No matter what you say, you sometimes you're feeling like you don't even know who's the right person to to talk to. Okay. It's 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 very difficult. It's very ambiguous. It's always different steps that you have to uh, continue making. There is this step, and there is something else, and always something else. And you are constantly dealing with uh, a, a brick of walls. It's constantly a challenge to get through to to them. And I'm feeling for those of you who are in a relationship with the Knight of Coins. I'm feeling that you guys. Some of the problem is the fact that their the family of your partner of your loved one male or female doesn't matter i'm feeling that they're so financially well off or they're so financially established that they might be having different types of mentality or a different type of thought process when it comes to who they want for uh for their son or for their daughter okay they might be I see there there's a difference here between how financially stable you are and your your partner is. So there is a challenge here that you have to overcome with them because it looks like no matter what you do, no matter how much you give, no matter how loving and dedicated you are, they always have something to say. They're always not happy. They're never 100% satisfied. They're very cold. They're very distant. They're very practical. Um, they measure everything. And th this has you very frustrated because you're very loving, very kind uh, cancers. And dealing with people, they're so uh, just elaborate everything. They're so practical. It makes you feel like, am I, am I in the right place? Am I dealing with the right person? people is this really what i want for myself because i'm not getting appreciated for what i'm given especially i'm feeling this energy in the last week with the six of coins okay with the six of coins i'm feeling that you're not gonna get what you deserve out of the family of the knight of coins Okay, you're not going to appreciate it as much. You're always going to feel as an outsider. You're always going to feel that like they might be they might have someone else that they're comparing you to or there might be another person that they see more fit and more more of a right match for for your partner than you are okay and this has nothing to do with your personality or this has nothing to do with your love this all all it this is all involving money, finances, and doesn't make sense financially to be with with you, Cancer, or with this other person. That's what I'm feeling. It, it's not anything related to. It's nothing related to uh, how much you love or your fidelity or seeing how how involved you are in with them it doesn't have anything to do with that and i'm feeling for those of you guys who are dealing with this, with this particular situation at work i'm feeling that the environment that you're in 
They tend to go by, okay, I'm friends with this person. I'm friends with that person. It makes more sense for me to have my friend take this position than another person. So, so it's a lot about who you know, um, who knows who, how you know who are friend who is friends with who i see a lot of that more than okay this person is capable this person is hard working so you're not really getting what you deserve and as i said this doesn't have anything to do with how much you're working how smart you are or how hard working you are this is all about the environment it's a very cutthroat very practical very oh i give you this you give me that you know we benefit off off of one another kind of environment okay being very very smart very and there's a lot of politics going on behind the scene things that you can't see things that you might not know about okay there is a reason why these people are being so cold and firm towards you there is a reason behind it okay it's not just because they don't want to give you what you what you deserve but, but because of the politics that are going on um backstage per se okay that that's that's what's happening and some of you are, will will definitely feel unhappy and unappreciated. And even if for those of you guys, as I said, who you are waiting to receive some type of a of a check or some type of financial help or from the government or from or from a bank, I, I'm feeling that you might get something, but it's not going to nearly be as much as you thought or as you needed. And you might be wondering, was this? What was all of this even worth it? Because I'm not really, I'm not really getting what I what I wanted or what I deserved. It was all of this worth it for me to get to this point. So I'm feeling that a lot of you guys might feel very frustrated, uh, frustrated due to this whole situation. But from the oracle of uh, healing, the message is intention, and we have number eleven here. So it's very important to set your intentions. What do you want to achieve? Okay, think that everything is possible and especially pay close attention during May to your phone or every time you see the number 11 or 1111, that's a sign from the universe, from your spirit guides that you're in the right direction. It's basically telling you, okay, you're in the right direction. You should do this. You should go for it. If you have a plan, if you have a vision, if you're thinking about something specifically at that moment in time and you and you check your, your phone and you see 1111 or you just randomly see the number 11, that's a sign. Okay, so go for it. This is what you're supposed to be doing. You're in the right track. It's telling you just keep that intention, focus on that, have that clear vision of what you want. And even though this particular situation looks like it's not really going anywhere you're not happy you're not getting what you deserve don't be sad about it you you are in the right track everything is going to happen at the right time and from the oracle of love and it's so beautiful uh, i was so surprised because there are two different decks and the image is almost identical <laughs> we have the unicorn and uh and the um, and the maid the lady in the um, in the back and we and here we have the face of this woman and the unicorn beautiful symbolism as well the message from the oracle of love is you're limitless you can do anything you choose okay so keep that same energy of the second week with the eight of swords in reverse keep that same energy tell yourself you're limitless you can do anything you're strong you're beautiful you're powerful you're handsome <laughs> or and tell yourself that you're capable of doing anything you can you you want to do okay don't allow this particular uh this particular situation to keep you down don't allow this to make things to make you doubt yourself okay make you doubt yourself or make you feel like uh like what you're doing is not the right thing don't don't focus on what's important focus your energy on the right on your intentions okay my friend so you can do anything you choose tell yourself that every time you feel down every time you feel like things are not really going uh and you're not getting what you deserve tell yourself that tell yourself that i can do anything that i want that anything that i choose 
Okay, and now the message from the Oracle of Animals. It's uh, the animal for you for this month is the weasel. And the message is be silent, pay attention, and simply observe with your eyes, ears, and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you. Okay, so you don't have to, uh, it's very important, my friend, sometimes if you're not appreciated, uh, it's because people are going to see, and I'm going to relate this particular message with the Knight of Coins. Okay, sometimes you don't have to tell yourself, you don't have to say to your partner or their family, well, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and you know, and kind of be in a defense mode when you have to constantly defend yourself or your position, your situation. If this person really loves you, if this person is really dedicated towards you, this is the person that is going to tell his family or the people around him or her that, hey, this is a person that I love. This is the qualities that I see on this person. It doesn't matter how financially established they are or where they are financially. I love this person for their qualities. Okay, so I, I'm feeling you don't need to protect or constantly defend your position. It's your partner. It's your loved one, the person that should defend you and should protect you and should um, kind of introduce you and give a clear vision of who you are and what they see special in you to his or her family. Okay, my friends, so just be silent. Sometimes you just need to look around you, okay, kind of just observe everything that's happening around you. Don't say anything. Just see what's really going on, what's really happening, Pay close attention and then make a decision and then start to analyze what you're seeing around around you and what you're feeling within your heart, within within yourself, okay? And then make moves. I, I feel like if you're in a place where you're constantly, even at work, if you have to constantly say, well, I have done this, I have done that, I've I've worked hard or I've, I've helped. I have helped with this project, I helped with that project. If you're constantly having to say that, these people don't appreciate you. They don't know your value. They don't appreciate you. Start looking around. Start looking for other options, okay? If they would, if they would appreciate you, then you wouldn't have to even say that to begin with. They would have already noticed that. If you have to just continue you know, sell yourself, then it says something is not right. Something is not really going how it's supposed to be going. Okay, my friends. So yeah, this is all the messages that I had for you guys. If you enjoyed this reading, please hit the subscribe button and the, and, and the little like, <laughs> like and comment. And thank you so much. And I see you next time. Bye-bye.